Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue attendance. This last few video, I will show you attendance submit means attendance created and attendance submit in a admin side. But we need to show also can teacher is a submit his attendance. So we need to create same module attendance module inside a teacher side. So teacher can submit the attendance. So this is the student attendance. Suppose I can go to attendance inside student attendance. So I can choose the year class. So same thing teacher can choose the class after he can choose the dates and after he click on the search. So he can see okay student ID and after he click on the like present whatever date he need to choose and after this is the data we need to save inside database like this we can do inside a teacher sites and teacher sites once done so suppose admin side we can go so admin said automatic see here like a student reports like whatever did so this is the I did today so you can see like 22 and here also at an end date I to choose the 22 this reason showing the year records. So let's log in one teacher's account and we can continue student attendance is a teacher side and also we need to create a same menu like attendance and after we can do like a student attendance and attendance report in a teacher side. So let's log out these accounts and we can go teacher side. So I just copy this email and I log out now and password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 I think because uh, I am always using same password. So I think same password there. So we can go to like my calendar here there same thing we can do here like attendance like he can submit his attendance after mark registers. So let's go to code resources use admins and not admin layouts inside need to go header.blade.php let's make zoom zoom outs so we can see it clearly just go back back just go down not back. This is the examination about the student. So same thing we can copy and we can put inside a teacher side. So type is equal to two is the teachers. What I did, I will just copy all the parts and I go down and I can put here like after mark registers. And I can change like attendance, no need to change because we need to make always the open menu inside a student attendance and attendance report. So just we can change here like admin to teachers. Okay, so everything is good now and just save this file and refresh the file and refresh the page so you can see it like a new menu found cannot found. So you can see it like attendance new menu found inside is a two button there one is attendance student attendance another one is attendance report. But right now we don't want to do is the reports just we need to do like a student attendance. So just comment out student report because we can do in next video about the student means attendance reports. So we need to create a new routes like a teachers attendance students. So if I click here, so you can see that routes not found. So let's create a new routes, routes inside web.php. Just remove this one. So we can copy both route like save routes and uh, copy the attendance student attendance student submit both route. I can come copy and I can put inside teacher side. So just you can put here. And here you can change admin to teachers. And second one I will make a comment because we need to use once you can save the data inside database. So we can use the like second one. But right now we don't using. So just comment it. Okay. So go to attendance controllers. App HTTP controller inside you can see it attendance controller. And just we can create like here teacher side function attendance student teacher because the teacher said this is I create like a another function here attendance student teachers and I can change here so going to here so just go up and just copy all the records about the attendance students in the admin side whatever function show this ones I just copy and I paste here okay so first of all we need to get the class means here is a we need to get the class for the student sorry teachers no need to get the class like all just whatever assign the class for the teacher this class we need to get here so just save and just refresh the page so not refresh the page because we need to create also one file in teacher side teachers dot attendance inside student so let's go to resources inside you can see it like a teachers folder inside we need to create a new folder attendance because I am doing copy paste work so please carefully watch okay 
and I just create a new file student.blade.php so file successfully created so just go to admin inside need to go attendance inside you need to go students and just copy all the file means copy all the code and paste inside student okay no need to change but just comment it out for the jquery and just go up and all data autofill all thing work very well no issue and just we can change it like a admin to a teacher so reset function always work okay so let's go back again refresh the page and check work not work and i will not save this file let's save this file and i just okay we are not passed like a request here this reason generates the error dollar request request okay because here is showing undefined variable dollar request because we are using the request here this reasons okay so i pass here dollar request to request request to dollar request i refresh the page so showing the here all the class is it wrong suppose you need to show like go to my class and subject so you can see it like he is a class only two part time ss2 so like ss1 ss part time ss2 is wrong here showing the ss2 arts and science and a part time so just need to show here two classes no need to show other classes so just go to mark registers inside you can see it like a class here showing classes so let's go to mark register and copy this code so we can get only this class so just go to routes and we can go to mark register teachers and here you can see it like a get class just copy and go to attendance controller and paste here after i can show you the query okay so before showing the query i can open the my database localhost php my admin so taking a few seconds but here i can declare this controller means this models above I just copy and paste and bottom and I can change this model assign class teachers model so you are following the series so you can understand what is the assign class teachers model is the admin side you can assign teacher to class otherwise class assigned to teacher whatever you can think like this works okay so I just go to schools.com here is my database and so you can see it here assign class teachers tables inside we have made like a one join query like class id teachers id so i log in the one teachers account so teachers account id like a 20 so 20 against what is the total class there this is the record we can get and this is the query i have made here like a assign class teachers model so get my class subject groups so here i can go and uh, group by and here you can see the class id is a group by this is an issue in the class id i think we can do like this otherwise we can do it another way like uh, assign class teacher so you can see my glitz my class subjects and here he made a another like teacher assign class teachers we can do it another way otherwise we can do it same way whatever do you want to like we can do it like here see is a get my class subject group so just we can group here is a class id again here there is a get my calendar teachers and here we have made like a get my class subjects groups so here you can see it like uh, what i did join query for the class after assign class teacher is not deleted and here we already made a group by the class id so sometimes the two entry there so it's better we can make a group by so impossible generate the error this reasons okay so we are getting the here class list so let's make a dd and i can show you i save these files i just go back again and refresh the files so you can see it here like two records there you see class name and class id and also you can see it like here class name and class id you see like here so we need to go to view file and here we need to change like a class name so here we can change to class id and here we need to also change like a class name otherwise generate the error okay so let's close these files we don't need any more now and remove this dd and refresh the page so you can see it now 
ओके आई रिफ्रेश द पेज सो इज हियर शोइंग द ओनली टू क्लास सपोज आई कैन चूज द पार्ट टाइम्स एंड आई कैन चूज द लाइक ट्वेंटी टू एंड आई सर्च द फाइल्स सो नो एनी स्टूडेंट देयर दिस रीजन नॉट शोइंग द स्टूडेंट्स सो हियर शोइंग द स्टूडेंट देयर सो इज स्टूडेंट शोइंग जस्ट गो टू माई अकाउंट एंड वी कैन सी लाइक एस एस वन पार्ट टाइम इन साइड देयर सो यू कैन चूज द पार्ट टाइम एंड ऑल्सो क्लास आई डी टू क्लास आई डी लेट सर्च वाई इज नॉट शूजिंग बिकॉज वी नीड टू मेड हियर वन मिस्टेक दिस रीजन जस्ट गो टू वेब सॉरी स्टूडेंट डॉट ब्लेट डॉट पी एच पी एंड हियर वी नीड टू चेंज आई डी टू क्लास आई डी ओके सो जस्ट गो टू स्टूडेंट अटेंडेंस अगेंस्ट एंड आई कैन चूज द पार्ट टाइम्स ऑल्सो आई कैन चूज हियर ट्वेंटी टू एंड आई सर्च सो यू कैन सी वन स्टूडेंट फाउन विथ ऑटोमेटिक ऑलरेडी सिलेक्टेड सपोज आई कैन गो टू सेकेंड डेट्स so not selected because we have not add admin side before we have add made admin side entry this is in showing here in this video i have made entry i hope you can watching full video so you can see which time i have made the entry i think starting of the videos so this just only he said only one student this is in showing the one students so i can change to present late half half day so is not saving inside database because we need to make a code so here showing the date like all the data suppose you are following the video in admin side so you can easily understand and once you can search here like a class id and attendance dates so we have made a query and we can get the student so we have created an another function get student class so you need to open this file so just go to app model inside you can see users.php inside i have made a query like users.id users.name and user.last name and we have made like users.class id whatever class you are selected here three number so this is the class against we can get the all the students and after we can pass inside get students and after i go inside uh, where again student.blade.php inside you can see it like get student is not empty and get student count is not empty so we can show here this is the like uh, auto selection whatever data selected this record we have pass here like a get attendance i click on so you can see student attendance is equal to check already attendance student id class id and attendance date and this is the we can go student attendance so here i have made a query and this query again so we can get the data it's a simple way works so i don't want to explain more because i have already explain everything inside a first video i think last two video so you can see it and we can get the data so let's go to student.blade.php and here i print like id name last name after we create a value 1 2 3 4 like a present means once late means two absent means three and fourth means half day so let's open this value and means open this code and just we can change like admin to teachers and we can go to web.php instead we have already made comments so just we can change like a, no need to change like we already changed before teacher attendance student receive and here you can see it like a uh, attendance student submit so first we can check getting the student id class id and attendance id because we are passing here you can see it inside data and so this is the record save inside database and after auto selection work for this like a attendance type wise because we are saving the attendance type inside a database so you can see it here first we can checking like already their database yes there so just we can update the update the attendance type otherwise you need to create the records you see otherwise we need to update the attendance type otherwise we can create the records once save in the database so just we can show attendance successfully saved let's go back again refresh the page and we can check working not working i just refresh and i click on the presents let's open f12 what's the error he ke told me teacher attendance student save not found but we already done oh because i have not saved this file this reason web.php i save this files now let's see if select anyone so you can see attendance successfully saved after i click on the again search so it's working very well you see already save i just click on the resets So data not there. Suppose I go to SS2 because it's the only record there inside a part time. So I don't want to go any other place. Part time. Instead I can choose 23. And I search. So you can see it. Suppose I go to 24. I 
so this is the entry not going to database 100 percent year not selection found so this is the our table like student attendance you can see it like a 3 2023 05 2023 and i can change like whatever suppose i can choose the half day so save inside database you can find out new entry 11 so you can see it here you see so working very well no issue suppose i can change this ones so also work very well you also update inside database because we have made here like a query i already show you again i can show you can see first i can checking inside a, this is the same function we are using the inside a view sites this is i told you you can follow like old one old two videos so you can easily understand because in this video we just made a copy paste work and we have just changed the admin to teachers and also change the class list otherwise we don't want to do anything new inside teacher side okay i think now it's clears and do you have any questions so please comment and do you, do you want to like this video so please like it do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and next video we can make like a student report but this is the like different query wise work so i can show you because here we need to write some copy paste code but we need to write a query for the student reports for only for these teachers and after we can show this is the student my attendance in the student side also we need to show my attendance in the parent side so parent know and student know what is the his attendance okay so i think everything is clear do you have any questions so please comment in and please like and subscribe our channel and thank you for watching